Hey Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a little news video today about Salt 2 and the release date, which you can clearly see is going to be the 20th of September. This is a game that I've covered ever since its inception, and I got a chance to talk to the developers a good while ago. It was a Kickstarter project, they raised a little bit of money to help fund it. It's a small little crew, only two people working on this procedure generated single player for now exploration survival game. But I've always loved the look at this. I think the water looks amazing, the lighting looks great, and it's got its own unique style. Still deciding what channel I'm going to show it on. My main survival channel or possibly the channel you're watching this video right now, the Jcraft channel. Because I feel like it could fit in both. It is a bit of a more art, kind of, I would say younger kind of looking game. But it still does contain obviously blood and a lot of other features. And that's how I've been separating my content really. If it's a more mature survival PvP kind of game, it goes on the main. And if it's a bit more chill, a bit more family friendly, then it goes on the second. I'll have to wait and see and actually give it a shot. You, who knows, maybe there's loads of blood and gore in it and I just not showed it off in the trailer. But yeah, let's go over everything you need to know about Salt 2 right now. So there's a beta underway right now for the Kickstarter backers, but they have got chances for people to join their Discord and you may also get a chance to play and give some feedback ahead of their launch. They've had a bunch of alphas running, it seems to be everything's going okay. And in this blog, they're highlighting a bunch of new content. Salt 2 will be procedure generated, but there will be special islands and points of interest that you'll be able to go and get all sorts of loot. They're going to have a rarity system to their weapons and armor, so you can hopefully get some really epic pieces. And effectively, they've been working a lot on the bugs from the alpha test. They're showing off the Pirate King Islands today, and these are going to be pretty much part of the end game content. It'll have some of the hardest enemies as well as some extra dungeons as well, but you'll only be able to access them at the higher tiers. Salt 2 is going to be a proper exploration survival and crafting game. There's an infinite world or ocean, and you'll be able to customize and upgrade your ship, which is the main feature. There's lots of RPG aspects with it as well. You'll be fighting pirates and other creatures, and you'll be able to customize your own character as well. You'll have to hunt food for survival, so it's full-blown kind of mechanics in it. And in before anyone says it, yes, it does look very similar to Sea of Thieves. Did you know, though, that the original Salt game, I do believe, came out just before the original Sea of Thieves, or just about the same time? But they really are trying to make this game a bit different. It is going to be a single-player experience. However, they may talk or think about multiplayer as they go deeper into early access. It will just depend on the game's performance, basically. Now, it may be a shame to some, but like I said, there are very world-famous pirate games out there like Sea of Thieves. This game is meant to be about you adventuring and exploring. I kind of hope they do add some sort of co-op option in the future, even if there's like a tether to it. Just something that you could maybe play with your friends alongside. But we'll have to wait and see. They really are a tiny team. It's literally two developers. They do want to do console ports, but again, it all just depends how early access, whether it's successful or not. There's going to be world bosses, there'll be the obligatory fishing, and part of the biggest appeal is being able to customise the ship. You pretty much can do anything you want with your ship, place stuff anywhere you want, and you'll be able to find all sorts of loot as you explore. The islands that you will be finding will have ruins, caves, pirate camps, seaports, and more. And some of these are going to consist of either just secrets, puzzles, or obviously the combat focus. You are going to need to fish, as I said. There's going to have 50 different meal recipes to discover, and hunting is going to be a feature as well. They've also got a pretty in-depth character level up system as well. You'll unlock talent trees, different skills, and get unique perks for your characters as you level up. And then, yeah, there's going to be plenty of loot, lots of different epic gear. All the gears come with randomised talents, so you'll always pretty much have a chance to get the perfect roll of a weapon. Dangers are going to consist of more pirates, legendary ones, bosses, and obviously dangerous wildlife. You'll be able to pick up quests and commissions from guilds, the town folk and merchants that you encounter in the world. It's obviously going to have an in-game map for you to study and mark out where to go. And you actually have to use a sextant to help guide you with proper coordinates. So kind of like the in-depth nature of it a little bit. The art style is kind of cute. It's not an ultra-realistic thing. In previous devlogs, they've also spoke about adding guild quests. The Sea Scholars and the Marauders Guild. The Sea Scholars is about finding artifacts and new technology. And obviously the Marauders Guild is more about completing bounties and contracts. They go in depth as well, talk about that hunger system, where it's going to be five stages. If you completely fall, you'll get a bonus to your stats. As you grow more hungry and your food meat goes down, your stats will also decline. If you get to the point that you're going to starve, your stats will severely decrease, causing you to die very easily if you take damage. Almost every island is going to have wildlife roaming around, 
and cooking stations to find. Or you can always fish and get food also from a chef merchant. There's gonna be over 50 different levels for players to unlock new stuff, including new world tiers with new difficult enemies and loot. And you pretty much level up by completing quests and killing enemies or hunting wildlife. They also showed off some of their autumn colored themed islands, Battlemaster Islands. And it looks like they've done a lot of work with the lighting and the ambience. We'll get a bit of a glimpse at a world boss, typical bony, and they've got new wildlife like boars and uh, little piggies, I guess. So it's really good stuff. Here at release, I will do a full-blown recap video giving you the breakdown of everything I know about the game, and I will be able to show you some gameplay as well. So yeah, if you haven't already, go and check it out. You can still wishlist now and help get them some notoriety. And yeah, it's going to be a good little game that I'm going to cover for sure. Until then, latest wrap bags.